Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Der Bruder Krieg mod as the Prussian Salvation Front. I looked it up, that is indeed the flag of the SA, or at least it's a stylized version of it. Like I said, it's basically like the, like the Natsok Germany flag. And I, I saw the, the A and I was like, damn, is that the, uh, it's kind of it's like the stylized Antifa A, I was like, Ugh. But um, no, that is indeed the SA flag, that is grand. Now, pre-war build-up. Play state investment with production overdrive, effective change, resource gain efficiency plus 10%, construction speed minus 5%, production efficiency growth plus 5%, one research slot. By supporting, oh yeah, Serbia, right. By supporting the military industry in our country, we will have created a strong army mind by making new conquests with this army, we will raise our country to the highest levels in dimension. Yes, we got a lot of divisions in the, into Serbia. Oh, no, never mind, they just accepted them. Okay, we still have to wait. I think we'll obviously focus on knocking out uh, Alexander the First first. We should be getting to stepping up some smaller uh, German states in this episode as well. Soon enough, it'll be 38. We'll have our 550k manpower. Yeah, there is a lot of states here to be snapped up. 5.71 million there. 1.62 million. 318,000. 2.21 million. 2.1 million. 437,000. Yeah, that's a lot of gains right there to be made. Hmm. I did say I would go for an aircraft, didn't I? Kind of all good there, to be fair. Let me start some tank research. How is it that a 1934 medium tank is still almost 0.6 years ahead of time in 1937? How does that work? Interesting, to say the least. The blade forged. Only requires one of the following. I'll do this this side as well, though, just in case I get an extra reward out of this focus for having both sides done. Now, continuing autarky. 200% research bonus for industry. Our uh, economy shall run on the principles of autarky, complete self-sufficiency from the global economy. We shall produce all the necessary resources for our mighty military on Prussian soil. Yeah, I mean, if we can, that's great, but we can't. We need oil. You long to Norgal dress. Oh, fantastic. You got a second term. Guess we will just have to see. I remember one of the lads ending his speech in uh, ending his speech. And transitioning with that fucking line, oh my god. It's the biggest cop out in any speech ever. Or just just any sentence ever. Oh I don't know, guess we'll guess we'll have to wait and see. I think we sent Von Bach with him, didn't we? Yeah, Von Bach. Right. Perfect. Well actually we might as well assist with uh crushing this small little pocket first. Collapse of Central America. Angetreten. Ausrücken. And they're dead. Fantastic. Now von Bach. You regress with Salter. Defensive Doctrine. Charismatic. Fantastic. That's not nothing really to worry about. No, the real fight is here. Ah, the portrait has disappeared. I love when that happens. Fully motorize you, perhaps? We can indeed. Fantastic. Even though it's not costing us any drugs. Interesting. I don't know what to make of that. And yeah, we need every one of these divisions. Oh, fantastic. We'll be able to counterattack immediately right here. There we are. That's the one right there. That's our big break. Ah, Russian divisions. Just lol, not beaten out real quick. 
You don't move. And forget about this side weapons here. No, don't move. Take that. I'll be able to knock out the cab division. No, okay, hold. Bomatang is gone. You long declare the global focus against radicalism. That definitely includes us. Right there. Ship the division, I'll get that. Now boost coal production. 200% research bonuses for excavation 1 through 5. Oster Brandenburg gets 1 billing slot at 1 synthetic factory. Gold is integral for ensuring that our trains arrive on time and our armored trucks are worthy in battle. We must expand mining operations and start the production of our synthetic refinery. Some things never change. Do we have an airbase? We could really do with an airbase. Under our control? I don't think we do. Let's make sure I've done send volunteers, air volunteers. Yeah, we have. Alright then. And they're reinforced. Get him. Get him. Hold that division. That division's gonna have to hold. What can we pin with? How long did he get there? How do you move so quickly? Shit. Yes! <laughs> Fantastic! And right. our division. Okay, I, I thought our division immediately got beaten out. That wouldn't be great. Oh, sugar! Wait, so are the British at war with America? No. It's the Australians who were at war. I saw Oceania. Instead of Oceania. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought the Americans and the British were at war. Oh, it's uh Jack Lang. It's been a while. Six divisions here. It's crazy. Do not go anywhere. You fall back across the river. Don't mind that. Let them extend their front line. Is that a supply hub? No. Good. Great for army experience this is. We have artillery, we don't have any artillery in our divisions. Ooh, you're pushing, fantastic. Now I think we'll take this opportunity to adjust our division templates. Go for our regular 
which I think I means I think means we'll be cutting out one of uh, these infantry battalions. I know we'll be shot in artillery, but what can you do? There we are. That's the one. They're attacking because we just changed the templates. This supposed to be captured in airbase, didn't we? No. To be fair, it probably wasn't the best idea to change those uh, volunteer divisions. S improved rubber manufacturing, that's the one. 150 PP. Some sort of infantry division I can get. Infantry, yeah, Van Bach, fantastic. What the hell is going on out there? Yeah, Alright, if Von Bock is chief of the army, or he's a military advisor now, we need a different marshal. Bomberg. Kluge, so many armor officers. And we have no tank divisions. Interesting. Vaskovitz. Some whimpering dog out there, let's Oh, this is fantastic. The AI is taking care of it for us. The attrition must be so bad at this stage. If they're able to just do that. If the AI are able to push all those divisions. We're attacking him, but we've orged up. So we should be okay. Oh, shit. We're actually... Oh, man. Need to fucking knock out the Serbs immediately. Or knock out the uh, Kingdom of Serbia, that is. Survivability studies, that's good. Hop over here. Grab the better engine. How is this? How is that? I, don't I don't care. Get this. Oh, it's the fight. Ah, it's the Austrians. Whittling down those guys. We have to hold here, though. There's a big gap in our lines. Those four divisions are sitting there doing nothing. Oh, fantastic! We'll be able to redeploy three divisions. That's fantastic. That'll plug the gap perfectly. Divisions are cut off in the circle of one of our allied divisions. Let me just quickly check the recording. All is well, fantastic. Base ground protection, that's good. Improved engines. They have six, yeah, six divisions doing last stand. They've got a hell of a lot of artillery. that airbase, I still... Yeah, Belgrade is the airbase. Capture that, we'd be doing very well. Then again, so we'd be very well to do... We'd be doing very well to take Belgrade, so... Both from the Delhi Axis? Interesting. I'm gonna fall back out of this province. Hopefully the Serbs... Uh, never mind! We just took Belgrade. I don't know how we did that, but fantastic. How... I, is that what they refer to as a reinforce meme? I think so. Because we now have an airbase. We can send in the tactical bombers. Shame we can only send one air wing, though. Six divisions, but only one air wing. What's this? Doctrineville? I think that's a land doctrine, right? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the division is already... I mean, not this one. Like, 9-3, you know, basically ready, apart from the support companies. So, yeah, we will get some soft tech. Why not? What were we currently on? Mobile Warfare. Oh. Uh, 
Mobile Warfare Germany? I mean, we're Prussia. We don't have a big industry. Realistically, for when you, when you do Mobile Warfare, you want to have a big industry at the start of the game. So you can kind of go for tanks straight away. 15 org, though, for infantry? Is that, is that all infantry? Like... Yeah, but that's kind of insane, actually. Okay, yeah, fine, we'll do it. Damn, that's, that's ridiculously strong. 15 org? And we'll focus on the Austrians now. The Montenegrins aren't a problem. Who are they led by? Okay, Radovich. Okay, in that case, we gotta start working on tanks, yeah. We're going Mobile Warfare Germany. Angetreten. Uh, fellas, what about the rest of the front line? Why aren't he nursing that? Oh, is that this too long? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's actually too long. That's crazy. I mean, the divisions are, are already down here, so I would prefer if he started from up here. I should just concentrate here. Yeah, we need to concentrate our forces. We only have six divisions. That's what, two army corps? Or two infantry corps, rather? Obviously, they are army corps as well. Why aren't you moving? What the hell is going on? Something's definitely going on. Let's try that again. Maybe there's an issue with the front lines. Maybe there was one cell in existence. Yeah, you just won't go to those provinces. What the hell? Alright. Focus on these guys, so. Will you do that? Okay, you will. Thank you. Always kind of you when you do what you're ordered. Improved rubber manufacturing. The Prussian economy moves on rubber, which provides wheels and other goods to make the army mobile and assembly line efficient. We shall take steps to farm rubber, both naturally and artificially. You get plus two rubber from our synthetic refineries and one 100% research bonus for it. Now, subsidize Volkswagen. Our Volkswagen. Uh, Mecklenburg gets two billing sats and two civilian factories, as does Hinterpommern, as well as Ostbrandenburg. Volkswagen, the people's car, looks to provide more automobiles for civilians and high-tech vehicles for our military to bolster transportation numbers across Prussia. We must fund their efforts. You're only interested in dogpiling into one specific tile. Why? It doesn't have to be said. Oh, they've definitely got anti air in their divisions. It doesn't have to be said. Support specifically our troops. I don't care about the. Oh, shit. Uh oh. That's not gonna end the, end the fucking war, is it? Thank god. Why they're so weird? Okay. Now oh, that's nice. Tree expert already. Fantastic. Defense of doctrine or uh, charismatic. Right. <coughs> I've never seen so many 100% research bonuses. My god. We have one for literally every direction. That's fantastic. Get Spurs in three, uh, three though. Where to go next? Mountainous tiles? I don't think so. Obviously, we have yeah. How are we fitting eighty-one combat with units into an eighty? Com I don't know how. Seems odd. Ooh, overrun. Oh, look at that, baby. That's what we want. That's what we want. Cut them off. We got these front lines. Alright. 
Angetreten. You keep going. Angetreten. You hold. Ausrücken. Somebody's in a world of hurt now. Actually, no, what am I doing? Take Belgrade first. If they get bottled up in Belgrade, it'll be a pain in the hole. And they took our airbase. I do still have an airbase right here, though. Why can't, why can't I go to that airbase? <sighs> the intrigues of the game. They are a mystery, truly. <laughs> Look at the Austro-Hungarians watching their brothers across the river be absolutely decimated. That's gotta make you feel terrible. Get von Manstein as a theorist. Now, the Bundes Autobahn Highway System. Uh, Brandenburg gets one level of infrastructure, Mecklenburg gets two, Thuringen gets two, Vorpommern gets two. The Bundes Autobahn. Why would it be Bundes? We are not federal. Why, in the name of God, would it be Bundes Autobahn and not Realms Autobahn? That's so odd. We'll keep Prussia cities connected and greatly improve travel times for both civilians and military. We must work to complete this grand infrastructure project. That is so odd, lad. Forget about the Montenegrins. Russia forms the Greater Slavic Entente. Ooh, Nikolai II is back. Hopefully, damn, he's old. Hopefully, he's uh, learned a lot about ruling. Now we should have our airbase back. Yeah, we're back. Fantastic. I must have an airbase as well somewhere. Who's supporting Montenegro? Nobody. <laughs> okay. Go back to doing this. Why don't some of you just attack Sarajevo? Hill problems. Okay, the front line seems to be very odd right now. I'm going to send three of you up here. I move quick. I move very quick. Ah, fantastic. Right. Did they peace out? No. Oh, yeah, just because I'm not directly at war with them. Never mind. Right. Brain fart moment. To the land fort. How oh, strong? Not, okay, not too strong. Right. Belgium befriends France. Defend Napoleon the sixth and Leopold the third announced the signing of a defense pact and formation of an official alliance. Tensions have been brewing in the Benelux, especially with the Prussians quickly approaching and threatening a possible invasion. What the hell are you talking about, man? I haven't. I've literally annexed nobody. 
France seeking to counter the expansion posed by Ernst Rome have gained a new friend in Western Europe. Despite the recent tensions with, tensions with France, Western support of the movement also backed Belgium are growing. I li I've literally done nothing. Angetreten. Angetreten. I love how none of the actual Serbian divisions are helping here whatsoever. It's literally all Germans doing this. That easy, baby. <laughs> that easy. Serbia's on our side. Royal State of Serbia. Indeed, you, indeed it is. You should be in our faction quite soon. You better be. Bosnia's their puppet. Yeah. They had forged. No, still not even 1938. Fantastic. Now, get to they made ready for conflict. Our economy will be geared solely towards unification and revenge, for surely citizens of Germany have no other need than unity and glory. Alice Deutsche Rom Comte. Over Germany, Rome comes. Deutschland over Alice. Germany above all. Almost a full line, that's good. Yeah, no doubt we need a lot of artillery weapons. How many guns does the German army, or Prussian army currently have? Already 2,500, that's decent, that's decent. And that is, was a fantastic amount of experience that we just got. I don't like cheesy experience of doing anything like that. I hate gaming the system. Uh, I would literally rather just whip out the tool pack and cheat that way. And just justify, like, uh, like that we've just made a deal. Or do something lore-wise in my head than just, like, cheese. Like, grinding XP or anything like that. I don't know. I'll cheat in some ways, not in others. I don't know. It's funny how that works. Achtung. Angetreten. Oh, sugar. I mean to do that. Hey, what? Angetreten. All right. Who do we have here? Okay, well now it's going to be Paulus. He's experienced. No. Cavalry division? We don't need cavalry divisions. Infantry division. I'm not using paratroopers. Actually, no, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the fault of Jaeger around because we might para drop into Vienna, do something cool like that. Jaeger divisions, not using infantry. Reserve divisions, yeah, infantry divisions. Uh, that's about everything. I imagine that will rapidly expand our army. That's actually not nearly as much of an expansion as I thought, as I thought it would be. Wow. Franco-British non-aggression treaty, damn it. With Prussian and Italian expansions rampant in Europe, the British and French have signed a non-aggression pact, strengthening the ties between Edward VIII and Napoleon VI. Okay, I know the Americans don't like the British, though, so what we may have is Russia, Romania, Serbia, Prussia, Italy, and America versus Britain, France, Austria, and Bulgaria, and maybe the Ottomans, maybe a couple of the other countries as well. That's what it's shaping up to be, anyway. As long as we don't have to fight the Americans, we're ba we will we will win basically. As long as we don't have to fight freshly made chocolate cakes and still floating rifles for everybody, we will win. All right. Big expansion on the way. Puts us at 739, 746. We'll wait till the army fills up and we'll probably cancel a couple of divisions. We'll need to be a set above 700,000 for a lot of these focuses, so. Oh, yeah, we're still just doing. Uh... Oh, we didn't attrition because of that. I don't think we did. But yeah, this is the most realistic thing to do with your army when you're like. when you're at peace. Because. The way in Hearts of Iron 4, you can just put your army on a border. Like, that's mobilization. Like, that's tantamount to a declaration of war. During peacetime, your army should basically just be doing garrison duty on the entirety of your country. That's what your army should look like in peacetime. 
You just can't have your army on someone's border like that, just casually, you know? Improved engine, fantastic. Well, what am I saying? It's only 1938. Folks are syncing up really nicely, actually. Yeah, we got we got this done. We got these focuses done. We got the industry tree done. We did this focus, and I think we did one military focus. Yeah, and now we're it's 1938. We've got our manpower, and uh, we're ready to start kicking some ass. Fantastic. Now they made ready for conflict. Look at where we were in 1931 in the throes of public control of the revolution with the weak Volkish pursuing occultist fantasies rather than strength of arms. Even the reactionaries uh, could see that we were the better choice. In 1931 our economy was in collapse. Now it booms. Every German worker is happy for those who are unhappy or not Germans. Every German worker is productive. The ones who failed are dead. The untouchables under the boot produce armaments. Soon we will have many more of them. The economy serves the state and the army. This has been the Prussian ethos, but soon it will be the German ethos. Our enemies think themselves prepared. How could such a great empire as Austria? They think in their arrogance fall such a weak nation as tiny Prussia. They fail to see, and we shall only enlighten them on the battlefield. Every German fights or labors for the nation. With such united spirit backed by steel, how can we not prevail our army and state? Fueled by our glorious economy, shall withstand anything. Let Europe come. They say they, that they are ready for conflict. We shall sow them conflict. None shall stop the Prussian conflict machine. Very nice. Now, we need 550,000 men. I think this will get us 546. Okay, so we'll start deploying some divisions. Why are you all named random things? And you're all infantry divisions, yes? Did I turn out the wrong template? No. That's odd. Now, obliterate the petty Thuringians. Castle and Thuringian will no longer be a demilitarized zone, but it isn't. Castle and Thuringian is, yeah, these two regions, but they aren't demilitarized. It's odd. Gains decrease in opinion of uh, Saxony and Hanover minus 50 each. The petty Thuringians are one of our many nuisances. A quick reoccupation with our troops should sweep them aside. Improved armor protection, fantastic. Uh, yeah. Go for this, advanced, re uh, advanced machine tools. Almost there, fantastic. Angetreten. So I'll take another... Eight divisions, I think that's a roughly right. about eight, yeah. For you, I'll take another four. Achtung. For you, and I'll take another, what, seven? Yeah. All right. right there, 324 stacks, that's fantastic, that gives us oh, 719 in the field. Glorious. Cancel these last three. Get some of that equipment back. All right. I was going to say, start spreading out. Achtung. Start training up as well, if you don't mind. Yep, we now need less equipment. Glorious. Achtung. Still a big shortage of artillery, though. These industrial expansion decisions aren't really worth very much. If they only give you building slots. Are you not trained up yet? You've just been burning my fuel. Oh no, you actually are training, okay. Take a damn while. Right. 
Achtung! How much of that artillery is this training getting rid of every day? Oh, what? I'm still making 11? That's fine, we're only losing 1.25 a day. Now, oh, Saxony. Okay, okay, we're clearly supposed to do this one first because it has the lower manpower requirement. Saxony is you, yes. There's no way you have that many men. Do you have men? Maybe. We've got a decent industry, though. I will certainly take the white cores on that. I don't. Tell you what, though, take all of the good divisions. Put them into a singular army. Hey, what property, please? Thank you. Achtung! Angetreten! Achtung! 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 39 good divisions? That's not bad. 39 fully trained divisions. Nice. Thirty nine should be more than enough. Alright. Achtung. Angetreten. Angetreten. Get you a new marshal. Yeah, uh, von Bach. Achtung! Alright! You can just be training away. Now, overrun Saxony. Prussian Salvation Front declares conflict on the Kingdom of Saxony. World tension increased by five. Saxony was uh, always was meant to be Prussian. In the very core of Otto the Great's empire, we will not suffer its independence any longer. I love how Austria just does nothing. Uh, right. Achtung. Uh, right. How's the training going? I know it's taking a while because you have a l Yeah. Port anti air, yeah. We're not actually making any of that. We don't have how much how much of that do we need? Yeah, take it out. Alright. That'll make the training go, go a bit better as far as I'm aware. Twelve point four nine a day, get to keep You don't get to see. There's no way we're losing 545 artillery during the day. Now, oh, here we go. The Prussian invasion of Saxony. Shattering news from Germany today. The Prussian Salvation Front under Ernst Röhm launched a full-fledged in full invasion of the Kingdom of Saxony. A close friend of the Austrian Empire. As it expands its borders, Prussia looks to be closer and closer to German unification every day. As the nation prepares for the final struggle against Austria. For now, though, they can wipe up the remaining independent German states. While the Austrians can only sit back and watch. Europe on her knees. Why is Austria doing nothing? Who knows? Attack. This should be easy. Ausrücken. Actually, wait. Good experience for our Air Force. And that was that. That was all she wrote. This is supposed to be the Sudeten analog. Now, what are we going to do about those cores? I need those cores. Did I get them instantly? No. Seven million people. Such a big expansion. Annex 
Yes, Hanover. Yeah, more artillery, please. Get them at the Hamburg Conference. Hanover, oppressed by Britain for so long, cries out to us for liberation. We will grant them that and avenge the humiliations of 1866. Why is there problems with logistics? We afford this? No. We afford one level? Yes, good. Alright. We'll also move away. Still need to get that peace conference. Oh no, we don't, okay. Howard Hughes makes LA to Newark flight speed record. Nice. Oh, we'll get the cores on when we clear the North German Confederation. Of course. Of course. Perfect. As long as we get it, I do not mind. Basic medium tank chassis. Fantastic. What can we make? I know it's probably something fairly simple, you know. Panzer III, 37mm gun, something like that. Oh yeah, we're seeing the Panzer III here with the short barrel 50. Diesel engine. Cast armor. We don't have the industry for this. What's even the point? I'll see what it, I'll just see what, it, what I can have it look like anyway. Small armaments. Automatic cannon from, for, let's say, a Panzer... Panzer II, because the Panzer I had um, MG34s, as far as I'm aware, or some sort of general-purpose machine gun, and the Panzer II had a 20mm cannon, autocannon. Panzer III had the 37 basic anti-air gun. Close support gun, making it an assault gun. Heavy machine gun. Waste of time. Small cannon, improved small cannon. Heavy armaments. Three by turret type. Three man Taurus. Improved small cannon. Got a heavy machine gun, why not? Maybe an MG131 or something like that, or an MG151 even. You get two of those, that's crazy. Radio, basic radio. Special modules, additional machine guns, armor skirts, expanded fuel tank, extra ammunition storage, sloped armor, smoke launchers, with ammunition storage. That is a mighty fine tank, which would probably be incredibly expensive. So yeah, 24.31. We don't, we don't, we have 17 military factories. We don't really have the uh, industry for a tank fleet. We don't even have enough artillery right now. Maybe we'll, maybe 1940 medium or something like that. We'll get one there. 1943 medium's a bit late. Game's damn near over at that stage, but... Hopefully we'll get some more industry. Yeah, they've got a decent amount. They had a decent amount of industry here. Hopefully Hanover has the same. How long till we finish this focus, dammit? Hamburg conferences. The United Kingdom and Kingdom of Hanover have been in a royal union due to close ties between their houses. This, of course, presents a problem as we must liberate the core German land of Hanover without provoking an aggressive British response. I think we could take the British. 769,000. I'd like to see them get that number of men over here. Of course, we only actually have 410,000 men for the offensive because the others are short on equipment and still training. But even then, we could cannibalize divisions to make full ones. Hmm. I don't think the British are that powerful. Are they? Maybe. One solution to this would be the Hamburg Conference, where we can make minor concessions to the British in exchange for this for the much more valuable Hanover. Though the King will disapprove of the move, we can likely convince Westminster to depart from Hanover due to their inner political division and Britain's deadly imperial instability. Send Westminster an offer. Hamburg Conference. Oh, fantastic. The <laughs> Westminster affirm the agreements of the Hamburg Conference, accepting our concessions while removing any lasting support for Hanover. We are now free to invade without any British military backlash. Activate, activate submission the AEF's withdrawal schedule. AEF? American Expeditionary Force? What? Oh, I see. 
If we attack Hanover before the AEF withdraws, it will be war with Britain. Uh, not wishing to become entangled in a war with the Prussians, Westminster has called for the AEF to withdraw from the Kingdom of Hanover to return home, after which the Prussians will be free to invade them. Okay. Minus 50% docking out, but perfect, that. I don't give a shit about the Navy anyway. They've taken long enough. Make threatening noises. Okay, do that. Prussian threats increase increases the patrol speed of the AEF. The increased threats of border clashes and total conflict have caused the commander of the Anglo okay Anglo Expeditionary Force to become nervous, not wanting to be embroiled in a continental war. So they have sped up their timetables, getting ready to evacuate to the Isles much more. They cannot ignore our might. Move five days. Okay. Why would I not just wait thirty days? I don't get it. Is there a reason for me not to wait thirty days? That makes no sense. Unless this is some sort of Dunkirk situation where we want to fight the British now, or, I don't know, something like that. Oh, damn. We've done really well with our infrastructure plan. Time to build industry. We don't have a whole lot of it yet. Let's just start with one civilian factory. Let's start small. Anywhere else with only a couple slots? Yeah, we'll get two in Saxon. Besides, it gives us more time to train up here. More time to make equipment. How are we doing? You have to keep 11.6 a day out of 13.4. Grand. Not doing too badly at all. How many people? 322k, 2.24 million, 426, 2.13, 442. Fantastic. Millions more into the bag. Though Saxony actually had more, I think. Yeah. Or at least it's close. Two point three, two point two four, yeah. No rush, Britain. Take your time. And then once they leave, Austria announces the Treaty of Vienna. The Treaty of Vienna, which has plagued Austria for over a decade now, has officially been torn up by the Kaiser. It was already news that the Austrians were breaking regulations with the chemical weapons and army size clause, with the Russians and French not caring. Yet it had prevented them from building the massive army the Kaiser knew he would need to fend off the Prussian machine. Now the treaty has been torn up. It is all gone. Dark days are coming. Good. Good. Big war. That's what I like. Guys, about the Hamburg Conference. Cancelled guarantee independence with the Kingdom of Hanover. Gains pact with Britain. Minus 50% of the docket out for 200 days. World tension increased by 5. Remove Anglo Expeditionary Force. Uh -huh. We've got political power, we should spend it. Free trade, I think. Part of it, put more steel. Yeah. The prices we pay. We'll trade with the UK. Why not? Sweeten the deal. The right thing here. Now you're made. Uh, you're our main trading partner. One day until you leave. Hamburg Conference. As the forces of Prussia are closing in on the Kingdom of Hanover, the British government has solidified their policy of non-interventionism. After tense negotiations, the British are now allowing the Prussians to annex Hanover in exchange for concessions. The King of Hanover, Ernest Augustus II, has pleaded Edward VIII for military aid, and he accepted. Uh, the British government is planning the swift evac... It sounds like he declined if he wanted military aid, and they left. Is planning the swift evacuation of the British Expeditionary Force to head back to the Isles of the, to the dismay of the military and the king. The international community has been left shocked by, the, by this decision to see the once great British Empire leave their dynastic relatives ripe for Prussian conquest, thus paving the way for the rise of Prussia. They are playing right into Prussia's hands. Good. That's good. And we got a war goal. Fantastic. So now there should be no issues. Nice lag. The liberation of Hanover, you're damn right. Shattering news from Germany today, the Prussian Salvation Front under Ernst Röhm launched a full-fledged invasion of the Kingdom of Hanover, a close friend of the United Kingdom. As it expands its borders, Prussia looks to be closer and closer to German unification every day as the nation prepares for the final struggle against the European powers. The attack greatly angered the English, who have ties with the House of... They knew what we were doing! What?! 
The British cabinet prime minister have met with the king who has threatened to remove the parliament and call in the military if they do not take action. Though with the Prussians are marching to Hanover, it looks all today. No, we, we just we just signed an agreement that you would leave them alone, or that, that rather that you wouldn't help them so that we could march in. That that was the whole point of all of that, fellas. Mark finished. Nice. Convoy raiding. We only have to raid one tile. Isn't that... What the hell is that? Is that, is that a British province right there? Are you fighting a civil war? You are. I was wondering what the hell is going on. What if you do convoy raiding right there? You actually got a decent military, military force. Mm, kind of. But not really. It's all over. Now, capability. Our land force must be capable of winning a battle, otherwise there is no point in trying to win. 5% division speed. Argentina invades Uruguay. No. Not gonna call you in Italy. Thank you anyway. I do appreciate it. Certainly take a lend lease though. Love that. Air Force doing good work, I hope. Very nice. Close airbase secured. Fantastic. And they're gone. Now we should be able to form the North German Confederation. No? Why not? We'll have to do Bismarck's plan. Okay, okay. Armed car organization. Tanks organization. Tanks and armored variants. Elastic defense. I, I might hold off on that. Now, Preussisch Propaganda Initiative. Modify capability by division speed plus 3%. Division recovery plus 5%. The Preussisch Propaganda Initiative is to help prepare the people of our mighty nation for the coming uh, incoming conflict. Oh, good work. I think we all know who we're going for next. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we have to fight both of them, don't we? Rather just all of the... Oh, the Pact der Freundschaft. Pact of Friends... Oh, what shaft again? Gross Raumwirtschaft. Balls, I don't know. Pact of Friends something, though. Why does the front line not extend to these guys when they are also in the Pact der Freundschaft? It's just odd, lad. That's annoying. We have no fuel. Yeah. Thank you, Navy. Good job. Oh, we got their Navy! They had. A, they actually had a Navy. Oh my god. A decent, good Navy, too. Sweet mother of god. Six battleships. German naval domination is back on the menu. We have Wilhelm Saban as well. Fantastic. That is nice, lad. 15 battleships, 5 battle cruisers, 8 heavy cruisers, 8 light cruisers, 56 destroyers. Screening might be a bit insufficient there, to be honest. Angetreten. Finish this and we'll be able to decor. Oh, next 12 million people. That is fantastic. 38 million. That's what we'll have. Glorious. Make sure we're using the right template as well for occupied territories. Your divisions, get rid of them. Reserve divisions, get rid of them. Now. 63 days? What kind of. 63? 
Why 63? Bismarck's plan. Unlock the Cisna, declare the North German Confederation. Esteemed Kanzler Bismarck, for all his faults, did try to unite Germany under authoritarianism. We will fulfill his dream by forming the North German Confederation. Ooh, the Second Russo Japanese War. The battle for the influence of Asia and some random Pacific islands has led to the declaration of war by Russia on the Japanese. Japan deems itself as the guardian of Asian sovereignty against European imperialism and feels obliged to defend Asia from Russia. Earlier today, the Russians cut off all diplomatic relations with the Japanese and after a surprise attack on the Japanese fleet, officially declared a state of war between the two nations. Thousands, even millions, may die from minor territorial changes. Wait, Russia just declared war on Harbin? Isn't Harbin occupied by Russians? Like, it's, le it's led by Russians. Wasn't there a war there? Yeah, Vladimir Kislitsyn. Despotic. He seemed like he'd get along well. God sakes, he even has the well, weird version of the Imperial Tricolor. Never seen it done like that. Thousands, even millions, may die for minor territorial changes, die for the expansionist regimes that guide their nations. This has forever destroyed the status quo within Asia, and it seems as though lightning has finally struck the continent of the dark clouds that gathered above it. Can't you two get along for once? Hmm. Who will win that? Yeah, I mean, the Russians have definitely got the manpower advantage here. If they just stick to Mukden Click, I assume, me, I think, yeah, they're under the Japanese boot. RRL coup in Romania fails. Ah. Uh, the Romanian Redemption League, led by far right pro Italian politicians Horia Seaman and Cornelia Codriano, attempted to seize control of the government, but they failed. God damn it. For now, Romania remains in Russian hands. No, they are a puppet of the Russians. Formation of the South Chinese Republic. Li Wanhong. Li Wanhong, yeah, not Wanhong. We are nice. Look at that. Look at that. That is nice. Kingdom of Westphalia, French puppet state. Hmm. We should all have minor armies. It's the Prussians we got to be worried about. They just lifted all restrictions on their military. They're sizable. They are sizable. Three days is such an odd. Austria annexes Bukovina. Oh, here, yeah. So the Austrian troops marched into the province of Bukovina after sending an ultimate to the Romanian government, a part of the Austrian Empire from 1774 to 1917. Bukovina was annexed by the Romanians as part of the Treaty of Vienna. Many Austrians in the province have been waiting for the day when Carl I returns to them. With Russia having moved much of their forces from the Balkans, the Romanian government was left with no choice but to hand Bukovina over. Prussian and Russian officials. Uh, condemned Austria for their wretched imperialism, but the Kaiser Vienna himself was received by large crowds. He announced Bukovina's return to the Empire. Austria's dominance looms over the Balkans. Yeah, what about uh, our Serbian? Our Serbian guy. What's going on with him? We gonna get him? We gonna gonna get him to attack? That'd be great. Italy. Of course, I forgot, I forgot about Italy. We don't have to fight Austria long. Damn, 275k men. 42 divisions and only 275k men. That is not good. Those are some small divisions. If we get the Russians to attack as well. That'd be great. Ah, we finished training. Fantastic. Still short in artillery, but looking better now. Looking better. Von Bock's got a seven attack skills level four. Okay, all of you are going over to Von Bock. That is insane. Angetreten. Bereit. Bereit. Achtung. Angetreten. No, everyone is 18 divisions. Like I said, 
mobilizing, putting your army on someone's borders is to definitely tantamount to a declaration of war. But the engines are higher right now, so I'll do it anyway. So ready for this. But going from the name Prussian Salvation Front to North German Confederation is odd because we are not a confederation whatsoever. We are a very unitary republic. It'll be so weird if we're actually called North German Confederation. And we just swapped back to the f different flag. Is this the same as Goering's flag? I don't think so. I don't see the I don't see the sword and uh, hammer. Style pact. Not the Russian pact from North Drum Confederation, it's gotta be that. Okay, we've got to fight the Austrians first, that makes sense. That's good though, does that mean we don't have to fight the French and the Austrians at the same time? Because if that's true, then that's fantastic. We're very lucky that the French and Austrians don't really get along, because if they did, we would be in a world of, world of trouble. August 38, did that. Now, we uh, got cores and everything, so I'm waiting for those factories to flood in. Formation of the North German Confederation. After recent conquests of Hanover and Saxony, Ernst Röhm has declared the North German Confederation. Europe shook as uh, Ernst Röhm gave a speech addressing the people of Berlin, a showcasing of strong German unity and identity. Partisan nationalists in the South German Confederation and Westphalen celebrated the occasion in secret from their overlord oppressors. Um, dreaming of the day when they may be liberated, the process has transformed once again and is now on the brink of unifying Germany once and for all. I think all of these Austrian puppets should be a single state called the South German Confederation because it makes no sense that, like, South German Confederation keeps popping up, but neither Austria nor the, all of nor any of these states are actually the South German Confederation on the map. Even the faction isn't called South German Confederation; it's the Pact or Freundschaft. Mein God, five percent base conflict support. Oh, we get the Black Hand. Nice, nice. Operation Margoth for who? Okay, so I think we do this. Do do, do those first. For free Germany. Go on the attack or defend to the last. Whack. Or Prussians we attack. What's South German Confederation? Literally says Kingdom of Bavaria. All of these need to be one one country. That'd be cool. 750k men. You know, we have 750k men. And it has to be after 1st of January 39. Or else we can just ignore the manpower requirement and do first do it after the 1st of June 1939. Hmm. Well, let's start by asking the Russians for an aggression pact. Maybe we should just go for trucks, something like that. Elastic defense. Try and do a fully motorized run. It's gonna be good when we get this. German Volks realm. Yes, yeah, so where's our factories? It should come flooding in now. Advanced machine tool, that's good. I'm ready for some factories to come flooding in. Seriously? Where, when am I getting them? 
I'll read this first. The Style Pact. Russian Empire gets an aggression pact from the Deformed North German Confederation. The Russians assisted us during the First Europa Creek and were key to gaining land against the Austrians. We must put aside our differences. Uh, we must put our differences aside and secure the support of the Great Bear. There we go. Finally, lad. Finally. Uh, just make convoys. I don't want to have to spend resources on ships. Simply put. Got back to imports. You know I love that. Bring up a lot of factories. Ooh, look at that. Almost two full lines. Glorious. Then you go straight on to mills. Build these build up these northern states. Far away from the front lines. Sugar, I should have gone to war economy. I can still go to war economy. Based. I think we go for trucks. Try and get a fully motorized German army. Trade with the British. I think that's the move. That'll give us extra hardness. If we research this. Yeah, that'll give us even more hardness. I think we'll be at 20% hardness. Maybe even do a mechanized run, actually. Yeah, because, like, the half-tracks, I've seen all kinds of weapons on the half-tracks. I've seen 20mm anti-aircraft guns, 37mm anti-aircraft guns, Pack 38, 50mm, Pack 40, 75mm, Nebelwerfers, like, yeah. If we try and do a, a mechanized Germany run where the half-track does everything we need, you know, self-propelled artillery, mortar carrier, ammunition carrier, the hospital half-track... Anti-tank a half-track, anti-air a half-track, SPG a uh, uh, half-track, I've seen... I, I don't think I've seen an, an, uh, an SPG half-track, but I have seen an assault on half-track with a short barrel 75mm, so yeah, fucking do it. try and do half-tracks, that's nice, nice. I've done something like that since the Batov series, where we just did all mechanised, all mechanised BMPs, yeah. But alright, let's hope you enjoyed today's episode, we have formed the North German Confederation. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. But until then, goodbye.